Guys, right now, one of the biggest questions that I seem to be getting over and over is, how do I get started? How do I start preparing? Now, we've made a lot of videos about this, but I feel like that with the coming of the end of 2020 and even on into 2021, it's really important to make sure that you're doing the basics to be prepared. And guys, it's not rocket science, but it's something that you do need to think through. Uh, one of the things about being prepared, and my good friend Southern Prepper One says, is be prepared, not scared. And it's very important to make wise decisions, and you're not panicking, and you're not making rash decisions. And so having a few things put aside will just give you peace of mind. Now, obviously, some of the most important things are food. Uh, food is vital, and uh, we need to be able to live. Guys, one thing that you've got to be careful of is not to necessarily buy this long-term storage type food. Uh, I would suggest, especially if you're starting out, is to just buy canned food, buy rice and beans, dried beans. Uh, those are good things to be able to put aside. Now, the things that you eat are important. One of the things that happened with us when everything started happening, we had the lockdowns, is that we didn't want to get into our long-term food storage. We wanted to eat just the things that we continued to eat. And so we had a full pantry and we had extra supplies of, again, the foods that we eat. So canned food is a vital thing to me to put together. You know, fresh foods, fresh meats, those are great. In between time, having canned food, having dried rice and beans, having seasoning to be able to season them, and the things that you need to prepare meals just like you're eating now. Because in a crisis situation, you don't want to be trying to pull out, you know, your 72-hour long-term food storage plan. You want to just eat and we can go to the grocery store and we can buy those things right now. The next thing, which is actually more vital, is your water. Uh, you need to have water put aside. Now, you can go out and buy gallon jugs of water. It's really fairly cheap. You can buy bottled water and put it aside. And so having enough water, you need to think about one gallon per person per day. And that's what you need to consider. And so having the water set back, now hopefully we won't have problems with our water uh, but that is definitely something that can happen. And because it is one of the most vital things that you can do, uh, having water, just in case you have some kind of disruption in water service. Guys, the next thing is if you have power outages. I mean, or how are you going to stay warm? Do you have an alternate heat source? Uh, do you have some way to keep warm? At least having a lot of wool blankets or, or different type fleece blankets and being able to keep warm just to survive in case the power goes out. Uh, definitely having some kind of wood stove or having some kind of generator or you know some kind of backup system is great but it can be very expensive and so having a way to be able to heat your home kerosene heaters even if you have propane heaters that are made that are ventless that you can use indoors so make sure that you have some kind of heat source medical supplies that's a big one uh, guys especially with what's going on right now uh, a lot of problems with 911 and you know a lot of services are being tied up and so make sure that you do have your medical supplies. Having just your regular Imodium, your Benadryl, your Advil, those kind of things are important to have. And that way you're not going out and having to get them. Uh, if you have prescription meds, you need to make sure that you have some supplies ahead if possible. Sometimes doctors are slow about giving those out. But also maybe even trauma kits and having basic first aid. Cleaning supplies are very important. You need to keep places clean. You need to make sure you have hand sanitizers and those things that we saw dry up earlier. Uh, but also, definitely one of the top things that we saw was toilet paper just flying off the shelf. And so, if you can get toilet paper now, it's going to be smart. Because the big thing, guys, here is, is to get ahead of the curve. If you go ahead and get your stuff prepared, if an emergency starts and store shelves get wiped out, you're going to be ready, you're going to be prepared, and that's what it's all about. Self-defense. Self-defense is a big thing right now, especially with defund the police, and a lot of police agencies are cutting back on their budgets, and crime is increasing. So you need to make sure that you have some kind of way to protect yourself. Unfortunately, we're seeing that ammunition sales, and, and they're just, ammunition's gone. I mean, it's hard to find. Uh, they're making it as fast as they can, and sometimes you can find it here or there. But, you know, if you don't have that option, you need to think about a good security system, and have situational awareness. Know what's going on around you and your community. One important part of this is tuning into your local news, keeping track of what's going on with your news. 
And with that, having some kind of radio, uh, emergency radio, where you can get weather reports, where you can get uh, different radio stations, just in case. You know, you need to know what's going on around you. But again, guys, a lot of times we watch the national news and we don't watch the local news, and it's very important to do that. One thing I think is a great resource is like Crime Stoppers or Neighborhood Watch. A lot of times on their websites they have things that are going on and you can monitor those things in your area. I'll tell you this, it'll really surprise you what all goes on, even in normal times. But with things ratcheting up, I think it's really important to keep monitoring those things. Intel is super important. And so guys, you can have all the guns, beans, bullets, and what at band-aids. <laughs> and not know what's going on around you, you're in danger. Of course, having some basic tools, hand tools, make sure your toolbox is ready. Make sure you have like shovels and rakes and things like that that you can use in case you need to. I'd also suggest having a number of tarps around. If you have any kind of damage to your house, you can cover it. Uh, tarps are so vital for so many different things. And then also have your bags ready. Uh, you know, you may need to evacuate, you may need to leave, and so have supplies ready on hand to go. Even FEMA recommends that you have some kind of emergency kit in your home, and then if you have to leave, to be able to pick it up and take it with you wherever you go. And so having some kind of bag. Now, you might have a bug out bag, and then I he heavily suggest having a get home bag in your car. If there's any reason why you need to abandon your car and walk home, you're going to have the necessary supplies on you where you can survive and get through any tough situation. And guys, talk to your family. You know, you don't want to make them afraid, but you definitely need to talk to them and make sure that they're aware that things can happen and they need to be ready. I think they're seeing a lot of this anyway, so it will give them some peace of mind if you handle it in the right way. And so make sure you talk to your family, uh, make sure you work out some plans in case some things happen. Uh, I've done some videos on that. In fact, I'll have one annotated right here about making a basic family plan for emergencies. Uh, it's very important that we have these things laid out and ready to go. So guys, we just ran down a quick list, but these are the vital things that you need to consider, uh, especially right now in 2020, but into 2021, is be prepared. I mean, the Boy Scout motto, there's a lot of wisdom in that, and guys, you need to also be prepared. We live in a technological wonder but if things go down, it's very fragile, and we need to be ready in case things happen. Just having those basic survival items ready to go. Be strong, be of good courage. God bless America, long live the Republic. Helps you to make wise decisions and not panic and make rash decisions. <clears throat> rash, rash, rash decisions. You can only live three days without water, so you need to have water put aside. What in the heck is that? Can y'all hear that? <laughs> Oh my lord.